ever since we started building Lego trains, we have also been trying to evaluate their performance, most notably the pulling capacity, but also the net power and so on. In the beginning, we tested locomotives by lifting weights, measuring the maximum amount that an engine could pull and the speed at which it pulled. This method worked well enough for train pull one and train pull two, but we were fast becoming aware of the limitations at that point. For measuring tractive effort, the discrete nature of the weights, uh, bags of coins weighing multiples of about 20 grams, meant that our results would never be that accurate. A locomotive could pull 100 grams and fail to pull 120, and the actual figure could be anywhere in between, potentially a 20% margin of error in this case, and even worse for weaker engines. For measuring power, the limited space we had for both the height and length of a test setup meant that locomotives might not accelerate to full speed within a timed range. Furthermore, the size of these pulling setups made them very difficult to film. While the run-up problem did not seem nearly as bad for entire models as it did for individual motors, we would ideally like to instrument trains in a more realistic setting. Recently, we made a short demonstrating a different testing method where the locomotive does not move at all. Instead of counting coins, we place a very heavy weight, uh, one that the model definitely cannot move on a common kitchen scale. Here we use two D batteries weighing a total of about 300 grams. As a locomotive pulls up on this load, the reduction in effective weight equals the pulling force. That being said, because the weight does not actually move, the figure shown on the scale represents more of a theoretical limit rather than a practical value. A locomotive that pulled 100 grams in this test could not actually move a train generating 100 grams of resistance. Still, I liked the apparent accuracy of measuring with a scale, and the compact setup made it much easier to film. Unfortunately, if run long enough, locomotives would slowly start to move more and more weight until they reached some definitely outrageous number. For example, the QJ pulled about 200 grams using the traditional test, but it got close to 300 grams, almost 50% more using the static test. We suspected that the tires would warm and generate more grip, but we had no good way to verify this. We kept thinking about a more realistic methodology, and we eventually realized that the static testing rig could double as an actual dynamometer car hence the wheels. When a locomotive pulls on the string, 
it takes some weight off the scale. When that equals the force required to move the rest of the train, the entire system starts to move, and the load on the scale should equal the load on the couplers. On paper, this setup seemed accurate because the scale itself seemed accurate. But in practice, we immediately saw a ton of fluctuation in the measured force. We expected increased loads when navigating curved track geometry, but not on straight track. We suspected that the low weight, low friction dynamometer car required some dampening, but pulling up to two umbau wagons only reduced the magnitude of the variance. As with lifting bags of coins, this error would increase with lighter loads. 10 grams of variance on a 20 gram load is huge. We tried to eyeball results on long stretches of a straight track, but we could not get numbers that agreed with theoretical results. If the pulling force changed so much, we needed to record them over an entire run and take the average, something we could not do with a kitchen scale. We thought about getting an actual strain gauge and hooking it up to some microcontroller, but building and integrating such a solution seemed like a lot of work that we did not want to focus on. When we bought the Spike Essentials, we found out about the LEGO Force Sensor, which seemed like a perfect, purest solution to this problem. On that note, that is a story for part two. Uh, please consider subscribing if you like what we do, and have a nice day.